I'm Joyce. I'm a second year med science student and an exec with the Dallas Science Society. Today we're standing in front of the Henry Hicks building and I'm going to take you on a tour of the Life Sciences Center or the LSC. The Henry Hicks building is home to the registrar's office and other student services. To get to the LSC from there, you can walk through the building and you can also walk on one of the paths on either side. This is one of the main entrances of the LSC, and it leads to the third floor. Every room number will start with a floor number. So for example, room 302 would be on this one, and 202 would be downstairs. Once you enter, you can find the cafeteria, psychology and neuroscience, and oceanography on your left. First, we're going to visit the Department of Psychology and Neuroscience. First year psych labs are located on the fifth floor, and to the left you can find the main department office. Now we're heading over to the Oceanography Wing. There are also some Earth and Environmental Science rooms here. At the end of this hall, you can enter the Steel Ocean Sciences Building. And now we're heading back to the cafeteria where you can grab something delicious from Extreme Pita, Pizza Pizza, or Grill Works. Down these stairs, you can get to the second floor and to the Tim Hortons. In this direction, it's the Department of Psychology, Oceanography and Biology is over here, and the Department of Chemistry is in this direction. Passing by the Biology and Earth Sciences wing, we're going to head over to the Aquatron. It's the largest university aquatic research facility in Canada. We're now at the second floor entrance of the Biology and Earth and Environmental Sciences wing. Near the entrance, there's an elevator that can take you up to the eighth floor. And on your left, there are a lot of Earth and Environmental Science rooms. And on the right, there are a lot of Biology rooms. Once you head down this hall and take a right, you'll find the main Biology office and also the first year Biology lab. Coming back towards the entrance of this wing, there's an elevator that can take you all the way up to the 8th floor, which is home to the Faculty of Science Dean's office. The greenhouse is also located on the 8th floor. It has some beautiful plants and has one of the best views in Halifax. Coming back to the 2nd floor, you can find the Thomas McCullough Museum which contains a large collection of birds, ceramic mushrooms, insects, and more from around the world. A little further along is the Print Center, which offers many printing and document processing services.
Now we're going to head down this hall and we're going to first visit the chemistry wing. From the chemistry wing entrance, you'll find the first year chem lab on the left. And continuing down the hall, you'll find the second year organic chemistry lab. Now we're passing by the chemistry resource center, a place where chemistry graduate and upper year undergrad students help students in first and second year chemistry courses with lecture and lab material. These stairs lead to the doors of the chemistry building, which lead out onto the quad. And now we're going to leave the chemistry wing and we're going to head down to the Wallace McCain Learning Commons. There's also an entrance to the Wallace McCain Learning Commons from Lord Dalhousie Drive. Here you'll find great study spaces and there are lots of study rooms that can be booked online. Heading out of the Wallace McCain, you'll see the Chase Building and the Sir James Dunn Building. The Sir James Dunn Building is home to the Department of Physics and Atmospheric Science. Here you'll find the Physics Resource Center, where students in first year physics classes can stop by for some extra help. The Chase Building is home to the Department of Mathematics and Statistics. There's a Math Resource Center located here. It's a place where students can get help from undergraduate and graduate students with many math and statistics classes. And now we're gonna go back to the entrance where we started. You can get there by walking outside or also by walking back through the LSC. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour today. I hope the LSC seems a little less daunting than it did before. I can't wait to see you all on campus.